one interesting fact for each team this upcoming season. 76ers, Joel Embiid has a higher win percentage alongside Ben Simmons than he does James Harden so far. Joel Embiid is 48 and 24 with James Harden in his career. That's a 66% win percentage. However, Joel is 144 and 63 with Ben Simmons in his career. That's a 69 nice win percentage. The Joel and Ben combo have a higher win percentage together, and that includes Ben's rookie season. Ben was a three-time All-Star with the Sixers and a two-time All-Defensive player. James Harden so far only made one All-Star team with the Sixers. Bucks, Damian Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo are the second duo in NBA history all time to join forces after putting up a 30 point per game season. The first duo was Jerry West and Algin Baylor during the 1961-62 and 62-63 seasons. Damian himself is also the highest point per game scorer in a single season to switch teams one season later. The players below him, many of which are legends who had success on their new teams, so he's in good company. Bulls, both Io Sumu and Javon Carter grew up around the Chicago area. Io is a Chicago native, and Javon was born in Maywood, Illinois, which is just outside the Chicago city. Cavaliers, it was Kevin Love who convinced Max Struess to sign with Cleveland. Both Kevin and Max were teammates in Miami, and Love obviously is a former Cavalier. He told Max how Cleveland is a great city and that he would fit great for that team. Celtics, Jason Tatum inspired Paul Pierce to lose 20 pounds this summer when they were working out together over the course of the offseason. Clippers, Kawhi Leonard has not played in more than 60 regular season games in any season since 2016-17. This might change with the new NBA rules about the player participation policy, which makes load management much harder to get away with. Grizzlies Derrick Rose is now a member of the Memphis Grizzlies, and he made it clear that he is not here to babysit John Morant. Hawks Trey Young is just 166 threes away from leading the Hawks franchise in total threes made. He currently has 884 threes. Mookie Blaylock leads the Hawks with 1,053 threes. For reference, he just needs to make about two threes a game to reach this point. He, Jimmy Butler, did not get Damian Lillard, but he did get a new hairstyle for media day. Hornets. The Hornets have the longest active playoff drought streak currently in the NBA. It has been seven years and counting since they last made the playoffs in 2017. Wow, 2017 was seven years ago. That's a crazier fact to me. Time flies. Jazz. Lori Markkinen spent his summer completing his mandatory military service for his country of Finland. Most NBA players were practicing their shooting, and technically so was Lori. So the finisher certainly became a better shooter this summer. Kings. Sasha Vazenkov might be a rookie to the NBA, but he is no rookie to pro basketball. He is 28 years old, and he's the 2022-23 EuroLeague MVP. During training camp, many of the Kings players have said that he is one of the team's best shooters. Knicks. Knicks coach Tom Thibodeau wants to drastically change how this team rotation works and is strongly considering RJ Barrett to come off the bench. RJ is open to the idea, and if he can truly accept the role, it could mean better overall chemistry for the team. Lakers, LeBron James will be the sixth player in NBA history to play a 21st season. The other five are Robert Parrish, Kevin Willis, Kevin Garnett, Vince Carter, and Dirk Nowitzki. If LeBron averages at least seven points per game next season, he will lead this list with the highest scoring average at the 21st season. Now, if he pulls off similar stats as last season with 29 points per game, he would more than quadruple his competition's point per game average at this time of their career. No player has been this good for this long. For reference, Kareem only finished 20 seasons. Magic, Paolo Banquero is gearing up for a big NBA season as he finished last season as the ninth rookie ever to average at least 20 points, six rebounds, and three assists through 44 years. Once you take a quick look at the other rookies on this list, you know he's in good company. Mavericks, Tim Hardaway Jr. was not aware that he has planned to be a bench player at the start of next season until it was revealed publicly to the media first. Tim was surprised to hear the news, but he did act professional about it. Hopefully, it does not negatively affect the team chemistry. Nets, Ben Simmons on Media Day said he's optimistic he can return to all-star form. Whether this is just lip service or if he really means it is yet to be determined. Hopefully, he does re rebound in his career and then rewind back to his all-star days. No pun intended. Nuggets. Nikola Jokic said he did not enjoy his summer since he had to play two and a half months of extra basketball into June in order to win his ring. And after he won, he's only touched a basketball a couple of times and that's it. 
Pacers, Buddy Heald is changing his jersey number from 24 to 7. He did this because his mom has 7 kids. He has high praise for former Pacer number 7, Jermaine O'Neal, which is interesting the Pacers franchise has never retired Jermaine's jersey. Pelicans, Zion Williamson has only played 114 games so far in his 4 year career and counting. Hopefully he can add 82 games this upcoming season. Pistons, the Pistons are tied with the Spurs with the second longest active playoff drought. Both teams have not seen the playoffs in four years. They are also both the two youngest teams in the league with an average weighted age of 23.4 for the Pistons and 23.6 for the Spurs. Raptors, as of this recording, the Raptors have the most international players in the NBA with eight different players who has a nationality other than the United States. Ironically, they do not have the most Canadians. They only have one Canadian, and that's Chris Boucher. The Pacers have the most Canadians in the NBA. Rockets. Now that Zion is a little slimmer, the heaviest player in the NBA is on the Rockets roster, and that's the man who's also tied for the tallest active player, which is Boban Marjanovic, who weighs 291 pounds and is 7 foot 4. Spurs. Victor Wembanyama is not the tallest number one pick ever. He's close at 7 foot 4, but the first place spot belongs to 7'6", Yao Ming, who went first overall in 2002. Victor is tied with the tallest active player in the league today. Both he and Boban are 7 foot 4. No one is taller in the current NBA. The Spurs are also the tallest team in the league with an average height of 202 centimeters or about 6'7 and a half. Suns, this one under the radar, Bobol is now a part of the Suns roster and can be a huge surprise for this team. There are a lot of new pieces all around, so his presence can easily come in handy. Thunder, the Thunder are the lightest team in the league with an average weight of 93.4 kilograms or 205 pounds. The heaviest team in the league is the Bucks with an average weight of 103 kilograms or 228 pounds. Timberwolves, Anthony Edwards recently revealed that Steve Kerr gave him some harsh criticism and told him that if the Warriors had the number one pick back in 2020, they would have not selected him. Anthony, of course, is taking the high road and using this criticism as motivation to do better next season. Trailblazers. So far, only one Trailblazers game is planned to be nationally televised this season. That is the January 31st game where the Bucks visit Portland. ESPN replaced the Nuggets vs. Thunder game to nationally televise Damien's return to Rip City. Warriors. The Golden State Warriors have the oldest team in the NBA with an average weighted age of 28.8 years old. Chris Paul is also expected to be a starter, which means Klay Thompson is going to guard power forwards. Chris Paul also has the longest active starting streak in the NBA. The Warriors are also the shortest team in the league with an average height of 198 centimeters or about 6'6". Wizards, while Jordan Poole looking depressed made the most NBA headlines for this team, this left the addition of Tyus Jones fly under the radar. He is projected to be the team's starting point guard, so the Wizards offense has a ton of new open opportunities to give good shooters a chance to be primary scorers. So here was one interesting fact for every NBA team heading into next season. Let me know which team you're most excited for to start the next season. Don't forget to dunk on that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind and I'll fast forward to you later.